Hi everyone, my name is Katie with Precise Motion and Control, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Parker P-Series EtherCAT servo drive with a Galil DMC 50000 EtherCAT controller. So let's get started. We will use the Parker Drive Support Tool to configure the P-Series drive. Connect to the drive and open the setup wizard on the left hand side of the display. Under USB connection, select online. Select yes to read the parameters from the drive. Click next to continue with configuration. We are using a P-series motor with a smart encoder. Next, we will select our desired rotation direction. I'm going to choose clockwise positive. Now let's set up the electronic gearing settings. We can use these settings to change the encoder counts per revolution reported to the Galil controller. For this example, I will set the encoder resolution to 10,000 counts per revolution. To do this, set the motor revolutions to 524, 288. This is the 19-bit resolution on the P-Series encoder. Set the shaft revolutions to 10,000. Click Next. Leave the rest of the general settings at their default values. For the I.O. settings, we want to set Input 4 to Probe 2, Active Flow. All of the other inputs should be active high, not assigned. Leave the homing method settings at their default values. We have now completed the configuration and we need to write the new parameters to the drive. Close the setup wizard and software reset or power cycle the drive to apply changes. Now we will use the Galil GDK software to map the P-Series drive as an EtherCAT slave axis on the Galil controller. Open a terminal in GDK. Issue the command MO to ensure all the motors are off. Next, issue the command MT10. This will set up axis A as an EtherCAT axis in systolic position mode. Next, issue command EX-1. This sets up the first EtherCAT drive as axis A. Finally, issue the command EU1 to bring up the EtherCAT network. Now that the EtherCAT network is up, we can use the viewer to verify that the Galil is reading the encoder on the P-Series correctly. Spin the motor one revolution by hand and confirm that the Galil reads about 10,000 encoder counts. Since it appears that we are reading encoder counts correctly, I will go ahead and enable the drive and jog the motor. We can now see that the GLIL is in full control of the P-Series drive. This concludes today's demonstration. Thanks for watching.